In 2007, the Temple Isles football team took a pivotal step in their quest to win the MAC title. One that featured the improbable. Five, sets up, looking long, and Game's that's over. it. The game is over as Furla intercepts it at the 27-yard line, and the Owls have come back. And the truly awe-inspiring. Steps up into the pocket, rolls to his right, throws, and oh, what a oh, catch what a <laughs> by Kevin Armstrong. 2007 saw playmakers come forward on offense. Pumps again, throws long, he's got a receiver. Caught on the run, Francis touchdown. While the youngest defense in the MAC began to develop an identity as one of the most ferocious in college football. Three wide to the right, not give the football to Jones, and he is belted down. It was the dawn of a new era in Temple football as the Owls entered their inaugural campaign in the Mid-American Conference. As the team looked forward to their new conference, they looked in the past for their new uniforms. Going forward, it was easy for these young owls to see what their coach expected of them. That's it now. Out tough, out finish, and out play. Along the way, these young owls learned to do something that it seemed so hard to accomplish in the past. Win. Win on me, win on me! One, two, three, win! The Owls' four victories in 2007 surpassed their win total from the previous three seasons combined, with the staff seeing improvements coming in all three phases of the game. It was also just the third time in the program's history that the Owls notched four conference wins in one season. Coach Golden and his staff's commitment to developing the total student-athlete while creating champions in the classroom and community here at Temple University is translating to success on the field. The Owls improved a remarkable 49 spots from the 83rd least penalized team last year to 34th in 2007. An incredible 48 spots in NCAA turnover ratio from 106th to 58th, while closing their margin of defeat by a total of three TDs per game from 30 points to just nine this season. The youngest defense in the back was also the best finishing number one in the MAC in six categories. The stifling Al defense improved from a 117th overall ranking in 2006 to 48th in the country this year. This jump represents one of the great defensive turnarounds in the NCAA in recent memory. In addition, the Al's defense finished ranked among the nation's elite in red zone defense, third down defense, pass defense, turnovers, and opponent first downs. Temple also finished number one in the MAC in overall attendance in just its first year in the league. Most impressive of all, however, was how the group gelled into a team. To revisit that, you can't go back to their first victory. You can't go back to the first game, the start of training camp, or even spring practice. No, for this young group, the team building took place in the early mornings of February, deep in the heart of Philadelphia. The off-season program is an integral part of any team's success. For this group, however, it is even more critical because they will remain almost completely intact for two years, unheard of in college football. Gradually, this collection of individuals evolved into a team, and before they knew it, 
They were ready to embark on a journey that no one would soon forget. <laughs>